Welcome to Stay Tunes Garage. My name is Alex. Today is a beautiful rainy day, Southern California. It stopped raining. It actually looks pretty good outside. The sun is out. Um, but we're gonna go grab my car, gonna bring it home, and we're gonna do a little, little mod to it that should be pretty nice to do. So let's go ahead and go grab my car and start modding. Uh, there's a slight change of plans. My sister just got home and she parked in the empty spot we had at home in our driveway. So I cannot do this at home. So I'm just gonna go do this where I park my car. Um, so yeah, what I am doing today here, we can do like a little unboxing. So here is what we're doing today. And luckily, I don't have to jack the car up. I don't have to uh, do any really annoying stuff like put the car on jack sense or anything it's a pretty simple mod that should increase the driver feel by a whole bunch and be a very good uh, driver mod this right here eh. let's take this Let's use our right hand here I have a Steeda tri-ax short throw shifter um, so most of you should know what this is just well by clicking the video it probably says something about this but basically what this does is if you look over here at my shifter that throw you see that how it starts over here first over here second all the way over here that should reduce this by like i think it said like 30 or 40 percent so it's gonna go like it's gonna go from like here to here or like like there to there like it should be a lot shorter and what that'll do is it will easily it it um instead of if you're in first gear shifting to second it'll take a lot less if all you have to do is this than if you have to go all the way this way um and another thing is with my shifter um the there's supposed to be a spring in the shifter that if let's say i'm i'm in neutral it should keep it in the middle and if I like bring it this way, it'll bring it back. But as you can tell, mine is not there anymore. Yeah, it's supposed to do this over here as well, but it, it doesn't. So sometimes it, I've noticed I like grind gears when I'm, I don't like, I feel I'm doing it right, but I don't, uh, I don't know if this is the reason. Maybe I'm just, I'm used to driving that car, a little Honda stick. So, you know, um, it could just be me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart and We'll go ahead and get started on the install. All right, so simply I'm gonna start this by unscrewing the shift knob I already loosened it off camera, so I don't look like a little like a little wimp <laughs> um, Oh, There you go just like that um, then uh, if you're working on this generation Mustang this little trim here should just pop out and you just pull it out like that um, you you can unclip that uh, but I just kind of wait yeah just unclip it in the back just like that and throw that away make sure you don't break it because then you'll be, find yourself buying a new piece And then in here, we're gonna have four bolts we're gonna have to remove. We have one right here. We have one over here, one in each corner, pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the right sockets for that and start removing it. Okay, so I began on the journey of getting all of these bolts out. Um, I found that eight millimeter and a 5 16th socket both work just fine. So yeah, just power through that, get all of four out. And then we're gonna, uh, before we take this little boot off, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these two out. So I'll get those out and then I'll, I'll start working on these and I'll give you guys another little update. 
All right, so I got all four bo uh, bolts for this little boot off. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and take these two. Uh, so these both are 10 millimeter bolts. So just 10 mil, take both of these off, and then this the shifter handle right here will come off and along with the, the bushing for it. So just take both of those off and put them to the side and then you'll be able to uh, take this whole uh, shift boot off and then you'll be you'll have the actual shifter mechanism in there that you can take off and replace All right, so we got the shifter assembly off just took off the two bolts and just took it off It's a little stuck on there um, Just because it's rubber and it likes to like st stick to stuff whatever um, so now should be able to just grab this and kind of just Get it out of here, just like that. And here we are. So here is my shifter. All right, so all we need to do now is remove these last four bolts and then the shifter will just pop right off. You might have to pry it um, off from the bottom from like a little edge down here, um, but it should come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and then we'll pretty much get ready to install the new one on. All right, we got all four bolts off. Um, so now, in your case, if you've never removed your shifter, you're gonna have to get under there with a pry, like a pry bar or like a, just a screwdriver under here. Just find a way to get under this lip to try and pry it off. Um, luckily, I did, um, I replaced my clutch pretty recently and I, I didn't put any gasket around it because for this car there's uh, there is there's a short throw shifter that comes with a with the pre-made gasket that you just put on there and then you screw it on and whatever um, in other cases to my knowledge you just have to make your own gasket with some gasket maker um, so but I'm pretty sure yeah yeah it just it just comes right off so there is your old shifter and yeah there's some of the old gasket maker that the previous owner used or Ford used I don't know it's pretty nice in there so I'm gonna clean all the old gasket that's in there uh, give it a clean surface and then I'm gonna lay a bead for my gasket maker and then we'll start um, bolting the new one up okay so I cleaned up the surface on the transmission where the shifter mates to and um, I applied as thin of a bead <laughs> or as thin of a layer of gasket maker that I could so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the I'm gonna go get the short shifter I'm gonna put it on and I am going to use the supplied bolts we're no longer using these bolts that came off of it we're gonna use the supplied bolts because they're a little bit longer since the base on the shifter is a little bit longer. There's a little bit thicker. Um, we're gonna use the bolts they supplied and we're gonna, all we're gonna do is hand tighten it. Um, no tools used, just hand tighten it. And then I'm gonna wait about an hour to let this uh, gasket maker start um, curing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the the shifter in and I just wanted to give you guys a little I just wanted to appreciate how how good this looks. It's a billet I'm pretty sure the base is um is billet aluminum, I think. And I think the handle is as well. Um and I actually didn't show you guys. I didn't even know this, but the shifter actually comes with like its own little handle and its own hardware. I didn't see it. It was under that and under the instructions. So I, I just didn't look under the instructions ever. But yeah, it comes with its own hardware and instructions and all this good stuff. So yeah. Um, let me see. So yeah, now we just, uh, I got it all hand tight. Now all we, we just got to wait an hour until it completely... Um, or not until complete, it still starts curing and then we can tighten it all down. Um, what I'm gonna do meanwhile is I'm going to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust these stops for the shifter, these two. Okay, so I'm adjusting the bump stops right now 
and right now I'm doing the one in the back so what they want you to do is put put pressure on the lever uh, put in third gear put 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 pressure on the level uh, towards third gear so as much so it gets all the um, all the play in the linkage out and so you just put pressure on it and then back this uh, the little bump stop bolt all the way till it touches it then you can let go and it says to um, back it up about a sixth of a turn so technically to back it up you need to tighten it go right on the bolt a half of a turn and then lock it into place and there should be a tiny bit of air gap whenever you go into third gear so if you go into third gear it shouldn't be hitting the bump stop there should be a tiny air gap all right so i have the bump stops nice and um adjusted now so as you so as you might be able to tell there's a tiny air gap between the bump stop and fourth gear there so that's what you want on both sides uh, you just want a tiny bit so you back this up until you touch the shifter while you're putting pressure on it and um, you back it all the way until it touches and you back it up a sixth of a turn and then you go ahead and uh, bring this little lock nut all the way down and lock it into place so that it doesn't move from there and you're pretty much set now all I have to do is wait for the gasket maker to cure up tighten these down and then put everything back on and we're pretty much good to go I mean all I'm gonna do is put put this new handle on it even comes with its own new little insulator bushing to replace this one that's in there that little black one and then those two bolts are the new bolts to put the shifter lever on so after this we're just rebuilding it so I'm a fast forward an hour then I'm a tighten it up and get it all put together and we'll we'll give her a test drive see you in a bit all right I am back so the hour has passed um, I just went ahead and tightened these all down um, so that's good uh, in the little bag of goodies that they sent me um, it comes with this little washer here and this is supposed to be like a protector for this stuff um, so yeah it's you just kind of throw it on there and it sits on these little ledges on the the lever so uh, one thing you need to make sure is that we already have adjusted the stops but you just got to make sure that it goes into every gear and that it never touches the stop the stop is just there to prevent it from um, over extending I think is what it's called so yeah so you just put in every gear make sure there's that little gap if there isn't just back it up a tiny bit and yeah you'll be good to go so now I'm just gonna go ahead put the put the little shift boot back on and get everything pretty much back together so as you can see there are three holes here to mount the new handle on if you put it on top, that's for added comfort. You don't have to sit as close to the shifter to be able to get to it. You, the further, if you put on the bottom part, then you will have a slightly shorter throw, a little more uh, performance uh, gains, I guess you could say, a little more performance oriented. So yeah, you just choose whatever you prefer, performance or comfort. Um, it's not gonna be as long as your stock one so don't expect that by any means if you put it up here but it will be slightly better um, I mean it will be slightly more comfortable than this uh, I'm just gonna keep it down here cuz you know I got a short throw shifter I want the short throw that's the whole reason why I got yeah so I don't care about comfort as of now this is my this is this is the project car this is no daily driver so we're gonna put it in in sport I guess you could say and we're gonna send it all right so we got the new shifter pretty much on um, so this these bolts actually uh, thread through the shifter lever but they provide you with these little nuts so that it, it locks into place kind of how kind of how the bump stops lock into place by having that second nut there so you just put those in and get them tight on there 
and they shouldn't come off. So now, eh. Now all we've got to do is put that, that clip back onto our cigarette lighter there, uh, put this back on, and put the shift knob back on, and we're pretty much good to go. And here she is in all her glory. Ooh. Oh, that feels, that feels good. Oh my. So it's way notchier, and it finally has that spring that comes back. Way notchier. I like that. I'm gonna take it on a little test drive and see, see how it feels. Let me see. Yeah, that's that's way better. I like that. All right, let's take her for a take her for a spin. car feels so much better all I need is like a steering wheel now maybe some better seats and ooh she's dialed Woo. all right so install is complete I love the way it feels I really do um, I, I'm gonna go out with my friends tonight we might mess around with my car a little bit I don't know yet I haven't asked them or anything so if one of them is willing to hold the camera outside or inside of the car and film me doing whatever I do um, then I would I'll, I would for sure add it at the end of this video if not then this is gonna be the end thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed if you learned anything liked it or just whatever uh, please leave a like comment subscribe um, a lot of big things planned for this car here soon, so it's gonna it's gonna be a good time. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next time.